We have 43-year-old Brian here who's a local pharmacist for years. He does not recommend being a pharmacist because it's hard work. He has neck pain, shoulder pain, carpal tunnel, low back pain and leg pain, brain fog, and cannot sleep at night. You can see his pain as he bends over here. It hurts him pretty good. He has multiple arthritic fractures and a terrible neck reversal. We adjusted him. Check out his story. Right. Yeah, you can feel that from head to the body. Would you recommend being a pharmacist in the future? Um, for the future, for hospital, yes. But for retail, not so much. It's rough. It's, and why uh, is that? Because uh, it demands a lot. Uh, and the, uh, the workflow is uh, sometimes that people don't think about it. Uh, it's very rough. It's yes. very rough. A lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work. It's you not spend, just an easy job. Yeah, you, you don't spend, just sit there and just collect a check no, and no, count a few pills thing. and like, here you go, ding, 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 right? No, you stand you stand <laughs> up for eight hours straight. No break. And you work your ass off. But very much. Yes. Mm. Pain make it, medication is only a painkiller, uh, which means it's masking a problem. I mean, once the the medication gone, then the pain coming back. So the the most important is um, you have to take you look for what is the source of the problem before you know you take on the painkiller. The pain uh, they start from the shoulder, the, I mean the neck, and then go down to the shoulder and the the arm. Um, now. The leg to a little bit. Yeah, now it's the last six months go down to the legs <laughs> and uh, you know in the back. Uh -huh. um, so so yeah, that's that's the whole reason uh, I'm come here to check it out. How bad is this pain? Uh, pain around five or six, but it constantly. And what, how does it, how does it affect your life? It I mean it's a lot because body twist and turn. And you're uh, always feeling pain every day, right? Very, very much. How about during work? Uh, work, uh, work is even worse. I mean, at the end of the day, it's even worse. You're beat but, up. Yeah, very much. Gotcha. Uh, when the pain is too much, I mean, all you do is you try to relieve the pain and then um, it's, it take away, you know, thing that you're supposed to focus on life, uh, job or whatever. So, so it's it pretty much... Uh, it distracts you from yeah, everything distract, else, right? Yeah, distract it distracts you. you. Yeah. And so tell us about your sleep. I uh, couldn't sleep. I mean, it's sleep, but it's turn, turn, and turn. So I couldn't go to deep sleep at all. Okay, okay test tension in your back. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, uh, around four or five. Four or five? Uh -huh. Go back like this right now. Okay, it's tension six. Six, gotcha. Look at the floor, please. How about that? Uh, five, four. And, and look at the sit, look, do it again, please. Look at the space between his neck and his chest. Okay, look at the ceiling, please. And look it up, and look up at the ceiling, look at the ceiling. Look at how he moves back here, guys. He has to bend his whole body. How much pain there, tension there? Tension? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, scale of one sandwich, yeah. Uh, so rough six. His x-rays are really something else to see and they go right along with his profession. Brian has 13 millimeter left imbalance, left TMJ, 18 millimeter lower right shoulder, 11 millimeter short left leg, arthritis, and nine degree scoliosis. Here we have an extensive neck curve with multiple arthritic fractures. Here we have significant arthritis, military spine, and constipation. Do you self-adjust a lot? Yeah. Yeah. You can hear that, guys. Can you hear it popping already? He hears it popping. Mm -hmm. And it's popping because he self-adjusts all the time. So that actually creates laxity in the joint, which makes it more difficult to stabilize him in the long run. So people, stop self-adjusting. Good, let's go. See, it's already popping. Good, there we go. Oh. What was that like, sir? It's so, oh man. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, now tell us the experience about actually happening versus what you watch on the camera. I mean, it's, it's different. I mean, you're watching it, you see um, all the crack and cells, but not until you experience for yourself and you see the, the feeling. I mean, how does it feel different? How do I, you feel it? It's, it's like you can see the flow from. You can feel it, right? Yeah, you can feel it from head to the body. Good. Chin up a little more here. Good. Nice. Wow. That went really good. That's better than I thought yeah. I was going to go. So what does that feel like, sir? Uh, yeah, it's like I can feel it evenly now. The, feel, the, yeah. the, 
between my shoulder. As we help Brian up, we're reminding him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. Let's listen in to see how he's doing after his first ever adjustment. Uh, a little bit lightheaded. Good. Uh, eyes a little bit blurry. Okay. Uh, but I mean, I can feel like some type of... Something changing. And, yeah, something changing. Gotcha, right on. In the, in the core. We are sending Brian down the hall to recalibrate. This spreads the neck adjustment through the entire body. Very crucial to change. And after you hear him, he will tell you that he feels different walking. Again, let's listen in, see what he's going to say. Less tension here. Gotcha. Uh, much, much less tension here. My back or my leg is... I mean, less tingling. What's it's tingling? Not, it's, it's not like tingling, but I mean... Yeah, it, no, no, less, uh, less, less yeah, sensation. Less sensation, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. How about your walk? Do you notice anything about different lighter, walk? Lighter. lighter. Uh -huh. Your posture's way different, yeah, too. Yeah, lighter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check to see how you feel. Bend over, touch toes, please. That was a four or five minute ago, I think. Yeah. It's around two, three right now. Oh, and then I, I think I can bend a little bit more, I think. Yeah. So you can bend more and it's about half, right? Yeah. Go ahead and go back, please. That was a five or a six, I forget. Oh, three. Right Definitely three. half? Yeah, a half. Half of one. Gotcha. Now, my sons always tell me to do this. Did I rub your back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Did I rub your back? <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't touch your back. Your back. Did no. I rub your back? Nah. No, did no, I adjust your back no, down here? Not yet. Not did yet. I stretch your back? Nah. No, yeah, yet, so I, oh, what did I touch only? Nah. What did I adjust? What I did said I, the neck. Just the neck. Exactly. Yeah, the neck. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't fall for the whole uh, body, but it's okay. <laughs> you guys have seen it a million times out there. Go and look at the floor, please. How about that? Uh, the motion for, for the neck is much, much better. Yeah, uh -huh. go do it again. Go down. And look at the space, guys. You can see it, how much more bent over it is. Mm -hmm. So now the ceiling, please. That was a five or a six before. Uh, three. 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 And three. you can also see how his neck goes back a little more, but it's still not that great. Yeah. It's still pretty tight. Yeah. Okay. Very much. Mm -hmm. So uh, look straight ahead. Uh, what do you think of this experience so far? So far, so good. So I far, mean, so good? Yeah. Is it what you expected? Is it is it sort of in the realm, or do you think of something different? Anything? I mean, I that's I mean, this is what more than I, I expected. Good, I mean, perfect. Nice. It's not the first time. First time. I mean, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I know you expect more in the long run. Of course, everybody <laughs> expect more, but I mean, it's, it's, it's not like magic, right? So, yeah. No. We like to think it is. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> It's neurology. So um, thank you very much for the video. I really appreciate the information on the pharmacy because, uh, again, people out there want to know about the big picture, about different things. And so I love bringing information to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And we'll see you again soon.